Hello everybody and welcome back to Challington Farm. So I've been reading everybody's comments from the first episode and I must say there's some really good ideas out there. But the one which stands out the most is of course the one regarding seasons. We are going to be playing with seasons. Yeah, it wasn't my initial plan, but it's, it's definitely the best idea. It, it would just transform everything and make everything much more realistic. So I'm not going to enable it immediately because I do need to make sure the bells are okay. Uh, so once they're in storage, we can we can get it going. Hopefully, we'll have no issues. I think you can enable seasons after starting a save game, although I don't think it's really advisable. Uh, the other comment was regarding this farm here. This is Autumnwood Farm. And yeah, I think it would be great to have this place eventually. I didn't really want to change our starting location. So that's why we started where we are. But yeah, we're going to work towards getting Autumnwood Farm eventually. It isn't actually that expensive. So we should be able to buy this in the fairly near future. And we'll buy the two neighbouring fields as well. But for today, let's just first of all take the combine back to the yard. We're going to buy the JCB, we're going to clear the field, and we're going to sell some of the bells and put the others into storage. Once that is done, we can enable seasons. If there is an issue with enabling seasons now, since I've already started, we can just revert back to this save game where we are now currently but yeah I don't think there's going to be an issue I would be surprised anyway let's take this very nice track back to the yard and then yes the JCB pack which I'll come on to in just a second Okay, so there we go. The combine is back in the shed. Now as for the JCB pack, it is by Nathan6930 Photography and it is available uh, from the link down below. Simply Safe Mods is the place to go to. Uh, please don't go anywhere else because that is the official genuine link. And also within that pack there isn't actually the JCB telehandler. You can find the link for that floating around the Discord page for Simply Safe Mods. So I managed to get it, it's just here, <laughs> there it is. Um, today we're going to be leasing it because I don't know for sure if we're going to be keeping it. It's just going to be a bit of a trial today. But I mean, it looks fantastic it, and it's going to blend in so well with this map, it's just perfect. So anyway, as for the wheel types, I think we're probably going to keep it fairly standard. Yeah, just go with that. £5,457. We also need to get a bell fork, uh, but first of all, let me just show you the JCB pack itself. Yeah, so we've got these bell spikes, high back bell spike, box tipper, all this stuff. Looks brilliant. But I think today, since we're going to be doing Heston bells, it would probably be a better idea to use the one with the, the grab on the back. Uh, but we'll definitely use the pallet fork out of here, and probably that one for the animal work when we move on to that. Oh, and of course the box tipper as well. That'd be very useful. Uh, so, yeah, let me just get that purchased. You can see the JCB in the background. Right, teleloader, and we will buy this because we know that even if we're not gonna keep that telehandler, we will still need the fork. And we also need a trailer. Just heading back to the farm with this one. And we'll go over to the store and we'll pick up the, uh, the bell trailer. So it should be a pretty smooth operation, hopefully. I need to get this done really quickly. And if from there we'll try Seasons. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. I'm absolutely loving uh, the idea of this series. It's going to be just bringing back so many memories because I've been playing this map since FS15, I think. And it is just, it is fantastic. It is good to have it in 19. So that trailer can stay there. And we'll head off to the store 
and pick up the bell trailer, which we will be buying outright. There's no point in leasing the trailer. It's going to be needed so much. Having said that, we do need to be very careful with the money. We only have well, it's pretty much £69,000, uh, and that can very easily be consumed, especially when you don't have any crops growing, which we won't have. Seasons will likely take us to the beginning of spring. It will pretty much look like winter. Um, so, yeah, maybe we should then start work on the animals. But today, it is all about just getting those bells cleared and sorting things out. And also, another comment, very good one, was about using the class crop sensor instead of using the other precision farming equipment because it's faster. I believe you can do it in one go. So you could analyse the field at the same time as spraying, for example. Come on, you slow car. We need to pick up a trailer. Yeah, we have so many bells. It's probably going to be in the region of three full trailer loads, I would imagine. But I've time-lapsed the vast majority of it, and it should look good. I'm, I'm, I just love doing Heston bells. It's weird. I absolutely... Well, I don't absolutely hate, I suppose. I'm not keen on doing round bales, but I really do enjoy doing Heston bales. Okay, so into the store once again. We need to go into the baling technology. I did enable quite a few trailers. We can autoload if we wanted to. I'm not going to, unless it just becomes a chore. But yeah, the plan is to use this. 20 bale capacity, that's interesting not too expensive. Good. And that should look really fitting on the back of this lorry. Uh, so we could actually take the JCB on the lorry. I think that'd be a good thing to do. This is very nice. Really is good. It's been, well, forever since we last had a, a sort of a UK style JCB telehandler like this instead of the articulating one. Yeah, just pretend we have some ramps. And that should be fine. Just there. Off we go. I keep wanting to go out that way. There is no gateway. <laughs> the gateway is this way. Um, yeah, so if it's 20 barrel capacity, I I think we did see how many bells we have. What did it end up being? Like 50 something? So yeah, we're looking for around three trailer loads. Probably two and a half. That looks amazing. Okay, I'll see you over at the field. I think I'm probably getting muddled up with another series. We actually made 33 bells, but that is still good because it's 6,000 litres of straw per bale. Uh, and obviously times, if you times 33 by 6, you get a pretty decent number. I don't know it. <laughs> uh, yes, I probably should know it. But anybody who has a good mathematical brain or a calculator, you will be able to tell us exactly how many litres, how many thousand litres we have in total. And then we could actually do the calculation to know how much money we could make. I will tell you the current price. I don't think the price will change that much. It is going to be standard straw. So it's none of the straw me stuff. Let's just find we've got so many different crop types, it's amazing. Uh, straw. 260 if we go to the sawmill. So there you go, you can do the calculation if you'd like to. But yeah, let's just clear the top section of the field first. And go from there. That's quite a view. The mighty JCB. Well, we're off the trailer. Let's start sinking those spikes into the bales. We can go three high, which actually is likely to be more than what the auto stacker was doing. So you never know, we might be able to get uh, 30 bales onto a trailer. That does sound extreme which would only leave three, which we could put on the bale spike. 
yeah, I think we'll do it in two loads. Because otherwise it's just going to be way too heavy. I think we'll go too high. But as I said, we're going to be time-lapsing, so you don't have to see any of my painful manoeuvring. But this is lovely. Just adding to the immersion. What am I doing? Turn that off. There we go. Uh, right, I'll see you when that trailer is fully loaded. Okay, well, as you've seen, I've loaded quite a few. Uh, there was a very early on U-turn, which is not exactly unexpected on this channel. So, yeah, I'm just going to finish off. We will have a few bells left over. But we could just take them straight back to the farm, because we do need to have some bells anyway. I think it'd be pretty silly to sell them all. But everything which is on the trailer now will be sold. Uh, and of course, because we're running, we will be running seasons very soon. We're kind of benefiting here quite a bit because I, I think the straw is worth substantially less in seasons. Okay. Now I know that many people would prefer to see me stacking in real time. Uh, there's a few reasons why I don't. One reason is because the video would be like an hour long, and most of it would be me just stacking. But the main reason is because for some reason, whenever I'm recording in real time and doing something like bell stacking, I lose so much concentration and I always mess it up. And it definitely wouldn't look like this if I was doing it in real time. They would be really um, messed up. Uh, you can see the one I just put on there. It's not great. Whereas these, they're not looking too bad. So we can fit another three on there and then everything else can go back to the farm. But no, oh, this JCB, I, I absolutely love it. It's so good. There were a few things that I noticed, but I know it's not a mod which is on Mod Hub. It's just been uh, released purely out of generosity, from what I can tell. When you've got the uh, the boom low, you can't tip the bell fork back. Although that could be this bell fork not being fully compatible, because I appreciate it's not the JCB pack equipment that I'm using. Uh, and the other thing is that the brake lights were extremely bright, but again, that is a very minor point and you could argue it, it, it's just nitpicking, so uh, no, it is very good. Very, very good. It's just amazing that we have it. If only we'd had something like this from Giants in the base game. I don't really know why we don't, because like, JCB's in the game. And on a UK farm, these are so common. It's interesting. Anyway, let's just get this final one put onto there. Should be a photo opportunity in just a second. Okay, just try and squeeze that on there as much as possible. Since the other one is already messed up, I'll push it across. No, 
no, I'm pushing that one off. Okay. Lorry loaded. Oh, I can probably push that up a bit more. Make it a bit neater. Yeah, it's got a really good boom as well. As you can see, a good reach. So it's up into the air. You could get a good stack with that. It's the Agri Pro 54270. And now we throw the straps over. We have enough. Brilliant. Okay, to the settle point. We have got three. Yeah, three bells. So I have actually managed to get 30 onto here. That's not bad. Okay, so here we are. It is showing 20 bells. Just ignore it. We actually have 28. I dropped two because I pressed the auto load feature, and there is a limit of, uh, of 20, even though we had 30. So we do have five in the field still. But that's nothing to worry about. Uh, so yeah, if we can just get that back into unload mode. Yep, that, that will do, I think. Uh, and then, just got to persuade those ones off. We made some good money there. Come on, Bales, you can do it. Get to the sell point. It's over there. Yeah, so it means we have five, but... I think maybe maybe three wasn't in enough anyway. We've got to get through the entire uh, spring until harvest. So if we were to get animals, then I, I think three bells wouldn't have been enough. Especially if it was cows, if we were going to get cows, because we would need the straw. Well, we wouldn't need it, but it would be useful to have it for the total mixed ration. It's a good way of padding it out. Yep, so we have £83,672. Let's go and get the final five, and then we'll get back to the yard, and we'll enable seasons. I hope it all goes well. I think it will do, but I, I just don't know the best way of tackling it. Do we do we ask it, ask it to reset the fields, or do we just continue as we are doing? It's a bit of a risk. I think I'm going to get it to continue as we left off, because I think it asks us if we want to reset the field data or something. Uh, we will try and bypass that, but yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it. Back on one of my favourite farm tracks. Seems like a, a very strange question, but what's your favourite farm track on the map? We've got the one near the castle, we've got that one there. There's actually loads, and I think there's a very nice one going through some trees over the far side. Yes, actually, the more I think about what I just said, the weirder it sounds, but yes. <laughs> what is your favourite farm track? Uh, as in, probably the most realistic farm track. Uh, so we've got these two, got these two, and one over there. Perfect. Let's get them on board. Doesn't need to be neat, we're going to put them straight into the shed. It's actually worked out quite well, because it's the end of the day anyway. We would have nothing else to do except for start drilling. Uh, but that can now wait, and it might actually have to wait for a while because the ground temperature may well be below zero. Or it might be just one or two, which would still be too cold. But it would give us time to do a bit of cultivation work, providing the ground isn't frozen. I don't think it would be frozen, because it would still be spring. Uh, it just has to be above zero, obviously. Okay. Yeah, we'll put these in a shed near to the cow farm. Actually, it would be useful if I can get the JCB on the back again. Saves making two trips. Well, I managed it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, I'm going to see you back in the yard. We'll get those taken off. And then after that, I think the next time you'll see me is when I'm setting up the seasons. There's not really much to set up. In fact, there's like a 50-50 option. Let's hope I take the right option. Or maybe both. Maybe they're both fine. 
Although when it actually asks if you want to reset the field data, it might not even be an issue because I haven't done anything in the fields except for a bit of soil analysis and it wouldn't even necessarily reset that because that is part of the precision DLC. So uh, yeah, I think it just really looks at fertilizer, crop growth, the crop itself. It's, yeah, let's, let's just uh, let's, let's just reset it because that's going to guarantee we have no problems. But as I said, I think it's fairly reliable anyway. So, the uh, the shed down the bottom, I would say, is the best place. Uh, I think there used to be a cell point around here. It looks like it might have gone for 19. But we'll put them in this end bay, just to guarantee that we don't sell them. I'll park here. And as I've said, there will actually be some bonus episodes on Chellington, because it is currently only scheduled to be once a week. Clearly, that is not enough. Uh, eventually, it'll probably replace something else. I, I don't know what, though. But I'm sure there will be something. Um, and, yeah, we'll, I'll just do a few bonus episodes. They'll just be totally random. One day you'll see another Chellington episode pop up on your screen. And, yeah, that would just help to uh, move things along a bit. But I do try and make these episodes a bit longer than the other ones, although when it comes to time-lapsing, when I've edited it right down, there's not really much difference in the length of the videos. Uh, I did, I think, 40 minutes for episode number one. But my rule is quality over quantity. I don't just try and make them really long. But yeah, we do need to have more episodes than one a week because otherwise nothing's really going to progress, especially with seasons. Right, there we go. See you in one second. Growth reset. You loaded seasons on an old saved game. Seasons wants to reset all the fields to their best state to synchronize with gameplay. And you'll lose crops if you do not reset growth. Seasons might not work expected. Reset. Welcome to Chellington Valley with seasons. And it is indeed early spring. So, let's just go and fly over the fields we're in. Wait for this uh, game to load fully. I'll put that to times eight. And we need to fly. Okay, yeah, so hopefully the frame drop there will clear. Seems smoother. Uh, yeah, the reason why I wanted to get rid of them out of the field is because it, it could have made the bells rot. So that's good. And it doesn't really seem to have done anything, actually. As for the precision farming, let's just see. If we've still got some data. Oh, we do. Look at that. And I didn't even uh, look at this in the previous episode. Sandy loam is the majority of the field. We also have some silty clay and some loam. Okay, that's interesting. So the other fields will be done uh, when we do some other work. But the, the ground temperature is actually 4 degrees. The soil temperature, that is quite good. 9 degrees air temperature. And yeah, no leaves on the trees because it is very, very early spring. So I reckon... If we just take a look at the uh, the weather forecast, minimum temperatures. Yeah, I think I think we'll be all right. I think we can start putting a crop in, but it might be worth. It might just be safer to cultivate first of all. So, what do we have? And <laughs> that's what we need to look into. We have a plough. We have a small seed drill. Of course, we have that. So I think we don't have any cultivators, it would appear. If we can get a disc harrow or something, or maybe we could just die a drill. Maybe that is a sensible thing to do. But we have the fence just here. It's a very uh, decent tractor, very happy with it. Uh, so this is going to be our main cultivation tractor for now. Well, actually, it's our main tractor. We don't have any others. Eventually, we will do. Uh, in fact, this day is almost over, as we've just established. So, if we can get that back, we can we can make a start. Uh, is it worth selling the plough and the drill and replacing them with just one direct drill instead of doing cultivation work? We probably could get away with pulling the Horsch Pronto 9 because this tractor is quite big and the fields are fairly flat. It would make sense to sell the cedar first because that is what we're replacing directly. I think it is lurking in... If it's not in that shed, I think it's over there. It's here. 
Yeah, it's not exactly the right ground temperature, but I have done this many times before. I've planted it when the, the temperature is still a little bit out of the range, and it still works. So I think if we go for a fairly safe crop, such as, well, I was going to say spring barley, but actually that's not really making use of the multi-fruit. Well, something simple, like rye or something, uh, I think will be okay. It is a bit of a gamble, but I've never had a problem before, so we'll just try it. It's a very wide seed of this. Extremely wide. This first field is the steepest field that we own, I think. And yeah, the seed drill is big. I'm pushing my luck. But with a bit of luck, it will work. Okay, I'm not too sure if that's actually in range. 39,000 pounds. Will that cover it? Maybe just about. I don't want to be doing too much leasing on this series. Right, okay, so 270 horsepower requirement. We have 212. That is uh, that is pushing it. No, we'll have to go with this one. We can upgrade it in the future. So there we go, and we get a pallet of seed. And we can get cracking. Now, with the other fields, we are most likely going to be using course play because uh, there's only so many fields that you want to see being drilled or cultivated or ploughed. Uh, it would actually be a good idea to plough. So that is something to consider when it comes to working in the other fields. Um, I suppose actually I could start with that middle field. We could plough the one that we've just done. If you think I sound indecisive. It's because I think out loud. But I think that's the best way, because if I just sit here not saying anything, you won't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's just going to be like, weird. Try and figure out what he's thinking. Figure out what's going to happen next. I'll probably crash. That's probably what's going to happen next. But I've just been browsing the different things that we can grow. And interestingly, some things are not out of range. Alfalfa. We can grow alfalfa. It only needs to be 3 degrees for that, so I think that would be the best bet. And because that that's pretty much grass, isn't it? it? Well, at least it's sort of classed as grass. We don't need to go too crazy with the ploughing and the... Well, we will go, we'll go crazy with the fertilising, but yeah, the ploughing to me isn't quite as important. So this field here, we will hopefully plough. And uh, then the middle field, we will put the alfalfa in. Yeah, this is a good one to go for. So I'll make a start. I don't know how much we're going to get done today, but next time the worker can continue. We are going to have an issue with the amount of machinery that we have, because really we could do with two tractors. We don't even own the JCB, but we are starting from scratch here, pretty much. It's a bit of a privilege to have this tractor we're doing quite well. But yeah, it's not easy. We're not just starting off with £2 million. So I think when it comes to doing the first bit of mowing, we're going to have to start pretty small. I don't know if we actually have a mower. I will look into that before we do, obviously. I'm not just going to go and buy a mower. Um, but yeah, we don't have that much stuff. But it is good to see some alfalfa going in, and at the right temperature as well. So there really is no risk of this messing up. I seem to remember on Sandy Bay when I was doing Alpha Alpha, I, I seem to remember getting quite a good price. I think it was quite good. Unless I was just putting it into the feed trough. Not too sure, but I can check and see if there is a sell point for it. I think there is. I would just confirm it. Okay, right. Alpha Alpha. It's just such a massive list. Alpha Alpha Windrow is £300. Uh, semi dry, £300. Dry Alpha Alpha is basically £300. Wet is £300. Okay, so we could just cut it and sell it. £300 for a thousand litres. And I think it's Alpha Alpha that also regrows. 
That's an added benefit. Yeah, it is alpha, isn't it? Hmm, this is going to be good. And with the little island of trees, this is probably the best one to do it in anyway, because we don't have to go around it with the combine. Not that that is too strenuous. Just makes it a bit easier. Is this field already ploughed? Because it certainly looks like it is. Keep it going. No, they all need to be ploughed. But we have done the data analysis. And we'll probably replace the other precision tool with the class one uh, in the next episode. So, I'm just going to set the boundaries so the work can continue next time, or I can continue. And, uh, yeah, then we'll probably wrap it up for today. But I think we have progressed, and we have obviously proven that Seasons works with no issues, which I'm very happy about. Uh, I think it was 80-20. 80% of my viewers who voted wanted me to do Seasons. So that's why we're doing Seasons. But I agree. I was in that 80%. I did vote. It's so fun voting on your own vote. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom Getting on very well I'm really happy with the progress So I'm going to finish this I'm not going to pay a worker to do it It would just be lazy really uh, We are losing the light though So I will conclude this video on a time lapse I think really there's nothing else to mention before the next episode, but yeah, if we can get this field wrapped up, that would be great, because then we can be straight into one of the other two fields. I think the big field behind me is ready to be drilled as well, and it will be a different day, so the soil temperature will potentially be higher, which would be nice, that will enable us to put in a cereal crop. But this map also has things like carrots and onions and stuff like that, which would just be amazing. I've been told that there are some dedicated harvesters for that. I did look in the uh, the mod page. Couldn't see them, but I will have to keep hunting. Uh, but yeah, I am going to conclude this video here with the time lapse. And I will see you very soon, hopefully, in the next one. Until then, though, thanks for watching, and bye for now. Why don't we go back to your bedroom?